press the top headlines. Present Chief Minister of Manipur is expected to be inner parliamentary candidate of BJP, says sources. Congress announces names for Lakhimpur candidate in Assam, Manipur and Mizoram in fourth list. Manipuri men apprehended in Guwahati with gunshot wound, at least to have extremist links. Arvind Kejriwal issues first government order from ED custody. Manipur emerged as the overall champion for Northeast Olympic. And curfew relaxing in Nepal is West and Thawal district till 10 pm, Focusing district till 8 pm. In Bishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. Hello and welcome to Elective English News. This is Tokchum Eliza bringing you the top stories and latest news at this hour. Now, the news in detail. In a big U turn in the BJP, the present Chief Minister of Manipur is expected to be the inner Manipur parliamentary candidate. According to highly reliable sources, at the present situation, the only candidate who is high in vulnerability is Chief Minister of Manipur. Yesterday, a meeting was held at the BJP headquarters in Delhi and taken that decision, the sources said. However, many questions have been arising that who will replace the chair of chief minister. On this matter, the central leaders also discussed minutely and that also decided. In the meantime, the ticket for inner Manipur parliamentary will be announced either today or tomorrow, the sources said. The Central Election Committee of Congress has announced the names of candidates for Assam's Lakhimpur, Manipur and Mizoram in the fourth list on March 23. In Assam, the Congress will field Uday Sankar Hazarika from the Lakhimpur Lok Sabha constituency, the party confirmed in its fourth list of candidates released on Saturday. The former BJP leader Hazarika jumped SIB in December last year and will come up against Pradhan Barwa of BJP in the elections. The roster includes contenders vying for positions in Assam, Andaban, Satisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Manipur, Mizoram, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and West Bengal. Professor Angomcha Bimol Akojam and Alfred Kangam S. Arthur has been selected for Inner and Outer Manipur SD respectively, while Lalbiak Jama has been selected for Mizoram SD seat. In the latest development, Guwahati police arrested an individual with a gun sword injury to his leg from a gas house situated in the Borbari locality of the city on March 23. Acting on intelligence information, a rapid operation resulted in the capture of Lan Mei Sai, 35, from Turachanpur, Mizoram. Initial reports suggest that Sai was previously involved in a shooting incident in his hometown. It is speculated that he sought refuge in Guwahati to seek medical treatment following the attack. Responding promptly, Guwahati police transferred Say to GMCH Guwahati Medical College and Hospital for urgent medical care. Authorities are presently exploring the potential links between Say and an extremist organization, adding complexity to the ongoing investigation. 
The Maha Resident has spearheaded a transformative initiative to fortify support systems for individuals grappling with substance abuse. Under the auspices of the Red Seal Division, the Resident unveiled the Enhanced Penal Care Center for Drugs and Alcohol de Addiction and Rehabilitation situated within the Kaitel Manbi Military Colony in the heart of Champai Subdivision in Kangpopi District. This endeavor realized at a cost of approximately Rs 15 lakhs as part of Operation Sadhvabana 2023-24 signifies a significant stride towards fostering holistic wellness and combating the scores of substance abuse within the community. The Rehabilitation Center underwent a remarkable metamorphosis characterized by the expansion of its facilities through the addition of a new room extensor. The ribbon cutting ceremony, graced by the esteemed presence of Colonel R. K. Bikram from the Indian Army, marked the fruition of this endeavor. Symbolically unveiling the fortified center, Colonel Bikram emphasized the resume's steadfast education to affecting tangible change at the grassroots level. The genesis of the Penal Care Center traces back to November 20, 2022, when it was inaugurated with great fervor and Optimism by Minister Nemcha Kipgen, founded by military pensioners Pachon and Hoinu Kipgen. The center stands as a beacon of hope amidst the shadows of addiction, a testament to their selfless dedication to the welfare of the community. Reflecting on the genesis of the center, Pachon Kipgen elucidated, profoundly unsettled by the pervasive drug manic, upon my return to our hometown following military retirement. My wife and I felt an urgent calling to address this pressing issue and make a lasting impact on our community. The expansion of the Penal Care Center signifies the paradigm shift in the narrative surrounding addiction treatment, transcending mere rehabilitation to embrace a holistic approach towards healing and recovery. Equipped with meticulously crafted rooms replete with modern amenities and furnishings, the center provides a nurturing environment conducive to arduous journey towards sovereignty, instilling a sense of hope and resilience in its inhabitants. The commendable efforts of the Maha Resident and the Red Seal Division have garnered widespread acclaim and appreciation from various civil society organizations. The Cookie in Peace at their heels, Cookie Women Organization for Human Rights, and Kaitel Manbi local bodies have all pressed the gradation as a pivotal milestone in the ongoing battle against substance abuse. Underscoring its profound implications for the overall well being of the community. Caesar Hospitals and Research Institute Sri was conferred the strong commitment to HR Excellence Mumbai on 22 March 2024. The award was presented by Sanjay Vell, Chairman CII National Committee on Leadership and HR and Executive Director Grievous Electric Mobility along with Indra Nikar, Principal Advisor CII and Head CII Suresh Nyosia, Center of Excellence for Leadership. The award was accepted by Dr. Palin Kundongbom, CMD, Dr. Bonnie Kundongbom, CEO, Gatri Maibom, Director, HR, Gitanjali Aribom, Manager, HR, Dian Chan Potsangbom, Manager, HR, Gabriel Perojum, Deputy Manager, HR, and Sarda Hudrom, Assistant Manager, HR. CII HR Excellence Award model is based on the CII Exim Bank, Excellence Award encompassing all respects aspects of human resource management. Under this award model, its application is assessed by a team of qualified assessors followed by a site visit. The distinguished jury determines the award recipients on the basis of assessment reports submitted by the assessors. The assessment team for Sri comprised of Deepak Despande, Vice President HR Tata Business Excellence Group, S. Mutu Sivan, Vice President HR, the Residency Group of Hotels, Ajay Mali, Senior Manager HR, and Monica Annan, Head Learning and Development, EKI Energy Services Limited. Assessors play a key role in the CIII HR Excellence Award model, and senior managers from industry are selected as assessors. Tanjuli Aribom, HR Manager, Sija Hospitals, is a qualified assessor for CII National HR Excellence Award. 
She has 20 plus years of experience in HR domain and has worked in IBM India prior to joining Caesar Hospitals in 2020. Following the demand of the localities, a mass anti-rabies vaccination program was conducted today at Konghampad Awang Lekai in Fall West. It was organized by Konghampad Youth Club in association with the District Veterinary Office in Fall West. More than 100 numbers of dogs and cats were vaccinated and the rabies vaccines in the program. The main objective of organizing such program is to control the rabies. The members of Maitai Aikoipun Sinsi Maipun has extended some edibles to Wahingbom Yoingamba who sustained bullet injury at Wangoi police station regarding snatching of guns. A team of the Maipun led by Rajendra Pangambam, advisor Maipun, KK Wahingbom and Brojan Wahingbom Prafulo, KH Suraj and TH Kogan went to the resident of Wahingbom Yoingamba at Wangoi Wahingbom Lekai and donated some edibles. Wahengbam Yoingamba is now on the bed with prolonged illness. He cannot work due to the injury. He has three daughters. I'm <laughs> The second death anniversary of Tokchum Ramesh, Tokchum Pramila and Lystrom Nirmala of Hairok was observed today at Hairok Part 1 Umang Laiko. It was organized by RPN Memorial Trust Hairo. The theme of the year is Mangal Piban Numit. The, the members of the trust and families of Ramesh, Pramila and Nirmala offered floral tributes to the photos and observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect to their souls. El Mega Publicity Secretary of RPN Memorial Trust Hairo expressed that led Tokchom Ramesh, Pramila and Nirmala were sought dead in a Tabal Chombo Kazan at Hairo on March 24, 2008 by some armed miscreants. The incident was extremely very unfortunate. Killing of innocent people never brings harmony. Let that incident be not happen in the future, he added. Nasi Pangkuk Seri Ba Horomasi Jam Nasam Da Pangkuk Seri Hau Ki Batu Hau Met Eid Maas Kutang Kung Mari Yau Shiki Mari Ni Chan Manu Mita Lai Kuk Si Rama Nungwai Kapu Ki Chibota Lai Ki Daba Lai Ki Dabi Tok Chom Promes Tok Chom Promila Amba Jilai Sam Nir Mala Chanu Ohong Ki Tara Ga Tarou Lek Shubo Ina Ako Ina Nasi Ki Hika Lekat Horomasi Pangkuk Seri Ba Mahu Cha Gum Na Sei Nung Wai Tau Gina Yam Cha Ong Na Pangkuk Seri Rama Do Tau Yuk Ki Oidi Ba Lai Ba Ki Pirang Shik Nung Ki Yeng Jere Har Ga Nasib sam sam bak kamu dalam speaking ama tak jere harga. Ibu monu ama di komisi di museum. Ada balik lagi, ada mana cara pun leh harga. Nasib si sum lagi sekat lekat tambah lagi formu. Aduh kerja mungkin kau ini bangkok jere. Baca tabel lewa kira lu faru macam tak. Hei nasi awak nak sih? Hei rupa cuma mangan pibiram bak. Isteri si kita muka formu tu nasi bangkok jere ini hari ini. A one-day sit-in protest denouncing the brutal assault of Khoirom Sanju of Lalambung Khoirom Lekai was conducted today at Lalambung. The protest was jointly organized by the Maira Paibis and Apunba Naharol Yaifa Tausil Kanglup, Lalambung. In this connection, one sister-in-law of Khoirom Sanju expressed that her brother Sanju was nabbed by some unknown persons from his gate at around 10.30 a.m. on March 19 last. The miscreants released Sanju after beaten black and blue. Sanju is now at Caesar Hospital due to the kidney injury. Why and what for Sanju was beaten black and blue? We want a clarification 
ab abduction of innocent people cannot bring any solution. So they appealed not to repeat such act in future. Kana lai kana ri kiti ni ani maksu pen way re hai ri ay ginaw nu pagi maranse kari no kari langi ge manung ma pam kuk na lai biri pa isini na mo yam akoy punung si bio ay gi sagay na tay ay gi mung manung na yam na ware ay gi na pagi kip lukun to kari no hai na kang tabagi aduna ma yam na nung si biro ga akoy punat yam pang bio. The 6th Isakon and E and 5th Annual Isakon Manipur 2024 was begun this evening at Jubilee Hall Rims. The theme of the year is Preserve Organ, Preserve Life. It is organized by the Indian Society of Anesthesiologists, Manipur State Branch. Professor G. Sunil, Ser Sunil Kumar Sarma, Director, Rims Professor J. V. Devitsia, President ISA, and HQ and Professor N. Sanjib Singh, Medical Superintendent, Rims, grass the occasion as chief guest, President and guest of honor, respectively. Speaking on the occasion, Professor G. Sunil Kumar Sarma said that the role of surgeon doctors are very important. Anesthesiologists are most specialist surgeons. They take precaution of a patient before operation is done. They also observed the patient deeply after operation. The anesthesiologist took crucial duty to save the patients during the COVID-19 pandemic, he added. Where the number was very minimal, like 1,000 in a population of, like uh, uh, the number of road traffic accident death uh, is close to about 1.5 lakhs per year. 1.5 lakhs from where we are converting only 1,000 sort of a transplant every year. So I think we are lacking behind that. And uh, we can imagine from a disease or a cadaveric donation, every organ can be used there. Except the brain, I think rest of the organs and tissues can be you know, used. Whether it's a liver, whether it's a kidney, whether it's a, uh, the, the heart and the pancreas and bone, the skin, and everything. I cornea can be used. So I think what we need to do at this point of time is the basic awareness program where the people, people start placing their organs. Now, let's take a short break. Stay tuned for more updates. Presto personalized wonders. Imphal the nauna hangdok chari. Haidi basida personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba potlam sing. Mapa masida pangbigani. Nasi maglang sing birau. Tilakras enterprises. Presto Tangal Bazar near Kasturi Tong Imphal. Contact number 0385244 Natraga 9862100456. Diabetes kaloy na dahing liba sing ta magi manung da control to bang ngamlay. Yuria kretinan wang basu ta magi manung da han ta bang ngamlay. Kung ha manung ay ite basu, numit mga nagi manung da fahan bang ngamlay. Pile saibadi nung sang na basu, chama da chama fahan bang ngamlay. Cholesterol wang ba numit kuni da normal oi bang ngamlay. BP wang basu ta magi manung da normal oi bang ngamlay. Fatty liver oi basu ta magi manung da fagat han bang ngamlay. Pum na mag natural oi ba hidak makal na lain jabani hak chang da soka da ba side effect amata laite makha ta na hidak cha ba gi matho su tara roi he na kupa parol gi da mak nasi mak langsin bi rau diabetes hospital soibam leikai ayang pali road opposite karkinos jennings hospital porompat in fall is near punjab national bank Manipur Gi Ahanba Dedicated Cancer Hospital, AOI Babina Specialty Hospital, the Medical Oncology, Surgical Oncology, Advanced Operation Theater, Galoina, the Cancer Patient Sing, the Affordable Cost, the Mapung Faraba Care, Pizari. Side Effect Hantaba, Manipur Gi Ahanba, Linic Halcyon Radiation Machine, Gi Kudong Chaba, Pangbikani. Cancer Kangdok Naba, Amasung Stays Lepa, the Sizen Naba, Pet CT Scan Machine, so Hospital Asi, the Lady. Tumor Board Pamduna, Patient Sing, Gi Lying Patapta, Ahinba Kudong Chaba, Loina, the Health Card, Gi Kudong Chaba, so Pizari. Mayam Gidamak. AOI Babina Specialty Hospital, Sajiwa Kabisoy, Infal East.
planning to study outside Manipur. Are you confused about your college or university selection? After 12, Manipur Edu Online provide assistance to help you. College or university selection, admission guidance, career counseling. Don't delay. For more details, kindly log into our website www.manipuridu.online or you can also call us at 7628960947. Welcome back. Now moving on to the news. A one-day sit-in protest against extortion of money to the civilian was held today at Lamsang Bajar Imphal West. The protest was organized by Lamsang Bajar Nupi Kunai Apunba Maira Paibi. Many Maira Paibis of the area took part at the protest. K. Thambal Sana Devi, Secretary of Lamsang Bajar Nupi Kunai Apunba Maira Paibi, expressed that the Maira Paibis of the area have been extending monetary aids to the village volunteers and at the village defence force. But we are out of tolerance from the extortion of money by unknown persons. We deny a big monetary demand, say built, not to extort to the poor people. ที่มาส่งไม่ได้กี่ล้านที่ได้ไปประสาทกับเด็กมาเที่ยวหน่อยนะว่าอะไรว่าอย่างไงมาทักที่ได้อภัยนะคุณงาไปซาสิ่งน
Su Choi T secured two silver medals in the women's cross country and four into 400 rally events. As the third Northeast Games 2024 draws to a close, heartfelt congratulations extended to all participating states for the exemplary sportsmanship and unwavering commitment to excellence. Each state's performance serves as a testament to the values of perseverance, dedication, and unity that define the spirit of the Northeast Games. As we bid farewell to the third Northeast Games, let us carry this spirit forward into the next edition, Stronger Together. Lieutenant General P. Shi Nair P. V. S. M. A. V. S. M. Y. S. M. P. H. D. D. G. A. R. extended his warm regards to all ranks of Assam Rifles and their families on the occasion of the 189th Raising Day of Assam Rifles. The Assam Rifles, one of the oldest paramilitary forces of India, stands as a symbol of courage, discipline, and service. Established in 1835, a modest armed police force, it has evolved into a formidable entity that not only guards the frontiers but also engages in multifarious roles from counterinsurgency operations to humanitarian aid. As Assam Rifles commemorates its 189th Raising Day, it's an opportune moment to reflect on its illustrious journey and the invaluable contributions it has made to the nation. The genesis of the Assam Rifles traces back to the British colonial era when it was conceived as a means to maintain law and order in the northeastern regions of India. Originally known as the Kasar Levy, it underwent several transformations before being recruited as the Assam Rifles in 1970. Over the decades, it has witnessed myriad challenges including two world wars, the partisan of India, and numerous insurgencies. The Assam Rifles soldiers a diverse array of responsibilities, ranging from safeguarding the borders to fostering civil-military relations. Its operational spectrum encompasses counterinsurgency operations, border security, disaster relief, and assistance during civil unrest. The force operates in some of the most challenging terrains, including dense jungles, Precarious mountains and promote border areas, exhibiting remarkable resilience and adaptability. The Sam Rifles has earned accolades for its selfless service to the nation, often operating in hazardous conditions with unwavering dedication, from combating insurgency in the northeast to providing humanitarian assistance during natural disasters. The force has consistently demonstrated its readiness to go above and beyond the call of duty. Its role in fostering stability and development in the region remains indispensable, earning it the respect and admiration of the people it serves. Beyond its operational duties, the Assam Rifles actively engages with local communities through various welfare initiatives, including healthcare camps, vocational training programs, and educational scholarships. These efforts not only contribute to the socio economic development of the reason but also foster goodwill and trust between the force and the civilian population. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, who was arrested in relation to the Delhi liquor policy case, has issued his first directive to the government from the Enforcement Directorate custody. According to AAP party sources, the order pertains to the Water Ministry Further details are expected to be revealed by Delhi Minister Atisi in a press conference at 10 a.m. today. Kejriwal was taken into custody by the Enforcement Directorate on March 21 under the anti-money laundering law. Subsequent to sources at his official residence in the civil lines area of Delhi, he has been remanded to Enforcement Directorate's custody till March 28 for further interrogation. Regarding his alleged role in the liquor scam, despite his arrest, Kejriwal has not resigned from his position as chief minister. Party leaders have assured that he will continue to fulfill his duties as the Delhi chief minister, even if it is means governing from jail as he has not been convicted yet.
Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has accused Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal of deliberately inviting his own arrest by failing to comply with Enforcement Directorate summonses related to a money laundering case linked to the now defunct Delhi liquor policy. Sarma asserted that Kejriwal's decision to disregard nine summonses may have been a calculated political move to garner sympathy. Speaking to reporters after a poll preparedness meeting at the state BJP headquarters, Sarma claimed that had Kejriwal presented himself before the ED earlier, he would have been arrested then. The ED didn't arrest Kejriwal, he invited the agency to arrest him, Sarma stated, highlighting Kejriwal's repeated non-compliance with the summonses. The ED eventually arrested Kejriwal on Friday after the Delhi High Court declined to grant him protection from coercive action by the Central Anti-Money Laundering Agency. In response to Kejriwal's arrest, the Armed Army Party is gearing up to transform the protest into a nationwide movement. The India Bloc, which includes the AAP, stays a demonstration at Sahidi Park in ITO protesting against the ED's action. The situation escalated when the crowd estimated by police at around 500 began marching towards Din Dayal Upadhyaya Mark where both the AAP and BJP headquarters are situated. Police detained approximately 18 individuals during the events, releasing them later in the day. AAP announced plans to abstain from celebrating Holi on March 25 with party workers intending to get out. The Prime Minister's residence on March 26 in protest against Crazy Wall's arrest. Tosif Ali Faruqi, a final year student of biotechnology at the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati, IIT Guwahati, has reportedly been detained by the Assam police after allegedly joining the terrorist group ISIS. It's clear that the incident at IIT Guwahati is particularly concerning given the recent activities in the region. Just days ago, the Special Task Force SDF of the Assam Police managed to foil a significant terrorist plot leading to the apprehension of two high-ranking leaders associated with ISIS in India. The individuals in question, Haris Faruqi alias Haris Asmal Faruqi and Anurag Singh alias Rehan, were intercepted in the Dharmasala area of Duvri after crossing the international border. Haris Faruqi, originally from Jakarta, Dehradun, is believed to be the head of ISIS in India, while his associate Anurag Singh, originally from Divana, Panipat, has converted to Islam and his wife is a Bangladeshi national. What are described as deeply indoctrinated indoctrinated members of ISIS involved in various illegal activities including recruitment, terror funding and plotting attacks across India using improvised explosive devices IEDs. These individuals have multiple pending cases against them with agencies like the NIA in Delhi and the ATS in Lucknow. Following the apprehension by the SGF Assam, they are slated to be handed over to the NIA for further legal proceedings. The duo was reportedly flown to Delhi by the National Investigation Agency on Thursday for further investigation and legal action. This recent string of events underscores the gravity of the threat posed by extremist elements and the critical role played by law enforcement agencies in safeguarding national security. The Mizo National Front MP candidate K. Van Lalvena held a press conference at IJOL Press Club on March 23. Van Lalvena stated his gratitude for serving as Mizoram's Raja Sava MP for three and a half years. He described his work during his tenure, saying that he has spoken out for Mizoram 15 times in parliament sessions and have attended all but four deaths during his stay at the state for MLA Vought County. The Rajya Sabha MP stated that at the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Commerce meeting, several achievements are being made for minimum support price MSP to oil pound farmers who sell less than Rs 10 per kg and the selling price have increased. He added that request to establish Mizoram Ayus Hospital come training centre in Parliament session has yielded good results in the hearts of central government officials. 
and that his request to pay attention to the earthquake in the northwestern mountains of Mizoram and to provide compensation to the victims of the swine fever have also yielded good results. Van Lalvena said that his request to Union Home Ministry for the construction of a bridge across the Kotlang Sea north of Lalbung to connect villages along the Bangladesh border with motor roads has been successful and that CPWD has already selected the contractor for the work. He added that Vairabi Mamid Road construction survey is also underway and that his request for the announcement of a new national highway between Jorinpui and Longmashu has been successfully announced. He also hopes that efforts to resolve the difficulties in the construction of Pankua to Saichisua Myanmar border road will soon bear fruit. Now, let's take a short break again. Stay tuned for more updates. To touch the pinnacles of success for your children, Get enrolled to one of the finest schools in Northeast India, UNECO School, Excellence in Education. Gear up for the future with Quantum University. Write your success story with our new age programs that shall be amongst the top three most rewarding careers in India and across the globe in the next decade. One of the reasons why Quantum is a leading private university in India is these world-class partnerships which makes it stand out among the rest. Welcome you all to Unapa School Chanum in Fal East, a fully residential school ranked Manipur number no. 1 in All India School Ranking Awards 2023-24 by Education World and Co-Education Boarding School category. Academic session for 2024-25 will begin on 1st April 2024. Registrations are open for classes 4 to 9. Hurry up for registration. Free OPD consultation camp Lakniba March ki tarik tara nipan degi kuntra mathoi pawbo Siza Hospitals Langol Amasung Siza Arban OPD ke sampata pangthuk jaragani. Investigation the 15%, procedures, medicine, immunization the 10%, concession su pangbigani. Akupamaro Siza Hospitals Langol Amasung Siza Arban OPD ke sampata degi kangbi bayagani. Welcome back, now moving on to the news. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has outlined specific conditions for migrant Bangladesh origin, Bengali-speaking Muslims known as Mia, if they seek recognition as indigenous people of the state. Speaking on Saturday, Sarma emphasized that to be considered indigenous individuals must adhere to certain cultural norms and practices of Assamese society. Sir Mahalajad key requirements for recognition including limiting family size to two children, refraining from practicing polygamy, and preventing the marriage of minor daughters. He underscored the importance of respecting Assamese cultural values, expressing concern over encroachments on Satras, Vaisnavite monasteries, land by certain groups. The Chief Minister also emphasized educational priorities urging the community to steer away from addresses and instead focus on fields like medicine and engineering. He stressed the importance of educating daughters and granting them inheritance rights over paternal property. The move comes against the backdrop of demographic complexities in Assam where Muslims constitute a significant portion of the population with distinct ethnicities and migration histories. In 2022, the Assam cabinet officially recognized around 40 lakh Assamese speaking Muslims as indigenous Assamese Muslims, distinguishing them from Bangladesh origin migrants. While Assamese speaking indigenous Muslims comprise about 37% of the total Muslim population, the remaining 63% consists of migrant Bengali speaking Muslims. The cabinet's recognition includes five specific groups, Goria, Moria, Jola, only those in Tea Gardens, Desi and Syed, only Assamese speaking, 
Samas conditions underscore a broader effort to integrate cultural norms and practices within the state's diverse population. By delineating criteria for indigenous recognition, the government aims to foster cohesion and preserve Assamis identity amidst demographic shifts. With the near coming of the 18th Lok Sabha election comes the year of political confusion, commotion and corruption of morality and money in the society. The Zelarium United Front conveyed its greetings and well wishes to all intending candidates for the ensuing parliament election. A press release issued by the media cell of the Front, the truly chosen leader, will be elected to represent the voices of the people of the respective states who also will be responsible for ushering justice, peace and harmony for overall development of the people. It is pertinent to reassert and make a caution here with that this time, the ensuing election must run in true spirit and in a justly manner, in sincere compliance to the principle of the National Union of India. No corrupt money, game or manipulative politics that devalue the moral and human ethics should be entertained. All forms of election, campaign related violence, crisis, or disturbances from any quarter in all Zilarium inhabited areas, in particular and the Naga areas in general, should be put to check and strict mechanism of vigilance shall be employed to see that the election is conducted in free and fair manner. All voters should be allowed to exercise his or her free will franchises without inducing or intimidation from any quarter. The repeated gunfire at election-related public meeting of the Congress party and candidate Sri Alfred K. Arthur in Ukrul district was very unfortunate and outdated nature to have reoccurring in a decent society. The perpetrators most commonly known to the general society as Gang of NSN IM are keen to such terrorizing activities. The direct involvement of the Naga revolutionary groups in the Indian political election as in time past has disadvantaged the Nagas and is a matter of great shame to have subscribing to Indian politics by forfeiting the Nagas political stand. The NSN, IM and Naga civil organization UNC have been questioned in the past and no logical understanding and refraining of its activities again from the Indian political affairs seem to realized yet. It is a matter of great concern for the Naga people. If such antagonizing politics of interference continues, the whole Naga national political vision and struggle will soon come to a total close down. The fact will burden with desperation upon the Naga's generation. The front also questions the inefficiency or inability of the Indian security forces and military operating system for letting easy go free for such miscreants to create public insecurity, posing threats and fear, making unsafe society everywhere. Free and fair election is the mandate of all the citizens of India to which must subscribe and comply to. The front reiterate its stand to uphold the mandate of the people and to strive to work for common interest, welfare and harmonious coexistence of all the people of the states and nationwide. To this end, the front shall strive to exercise extra effort towards making the election scenario peaceful and conducive to fair and just election. Appeals to all right-thinking citizens to cooperate with the effort of JUF towards making a better society, more decent election and for choosing right leaders that will determine our society today. For peace and prosperity and creating a better hope for the next generation, the press release added. Today at around 7.10 a.m. conducted an extensive search operation in general areas of Nambul Oinam, Nambul Naurem and Manthaching by a CDO team Bisnupur led by P. Sanjoy Singh MPS assisted by SIS Kisorjit Singh, H. O. Jayanta Singh and Havildar A. Johnson Singh under the overall supervision of K. H. H. Ravi Kumar Singh IPS SP Bisnupur. Amarjit Lamambam, MPS Additional SP, Operation Bishnupo. During the said search at Oinam Yumpam, found one cartoon box and on opening the said cartoon box, the following articles, one 7.65 mm pistol marked as made in USA with two magazines, eight numbers of HE grenade, number 36, two numbers of Chinese hand grenades, 
one can would hand hell said bearing number b zero nine eight three two four five with antenna and one medical kit five year detected the above mentioned armed grenades wt said and medical kit which we are suspected to be hidden by militants were seized at at 45 a.m by observing formalities and handed over to number police station for further necessary action Continuing the crackdown on illegal immigration in Tripura, seven Bangladeshi nationals were apprehended at the Agartala railway station on Saturday. Two individuals within the group attempted to evade detection by disguising themselves as women. The apprehension took place during routine checks conducted by government, railway police, railway police force, special branch of the state police, and border security force personnel at the Agartala railway station in Badargat. They were intercepted just moments before boarding the Kanchenjunga Express bound for Chennai. Tapas Das, in charge of Argatala GRP station, confirmed the detainees, Bangladeshi citizenship upon interrogation. They confessed to their intention to travel to Chennai with concerns over border control and national security. Authorities remain vigilant in detecting and preventing illegal immigration activities. In a tragic turn of events, four individuals tragically lost their lives after falling into Dambur Reservoir in Dalai District, Tripura. The incident occurred during a thunderstorm that struck the state. The thunderstorm, characterized by its intensity, is believed to have played a significant role in the unfortunate incident. Though further details surrounding the incident are yet to be revealed, one body has been recovered so far while search operations persist in an attempt to locate the remaining victims. Authorities continue their efforts to recover the bodies and provide assistance. A horrific vehicle accident occurred in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania, killing a 24-year-old Indian professional. The Indian consulate General in New York said in a post on X on Saturday that Arsha Josie had died in a terrible vehicle accident in Pennsylvania on March 21. The statement offered the family sincere condolences. Josie had graduated from high school the previous year. Local community leaders and Josie's family are being communicated with by the consulate. Upon improvement in the law and order situation in the valley districts, curfew has been relaxed till 10 p.m. today in Imphal East, Imphal West and Hobal districts. In Kakting district, curfew has been relaxed till 8 p.m. today. However, in Bishnupur district, curfew has been relaxed till 5 p.m. today. Traffic is seen as usual on the roads. Soaps and markets remain open. People were seen purchasing essential items during the curfew relaxation. For Elite TV News Channel, contact you the email address info at elitetv.in or 9402890982 and subscribe to Elite TV YouTube channel or follow on Facebook page, Instagram and X for more information about the channel. And before we wind up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Present Chief Minister of Manipur is expected to be inner parliamentary candidate of BJP, says sources. Congress denounce, announces names for Lakhimpur candidate in Assam, Manipur and Mizoram in fourth list. Manipuri men apprehended in Guwahati with guns sought wound, at least to have extremist links. Arvind Kejriwal issues first government order from ED custody. Manipur emerged as the overall champion for North East Olympic. And 
Kankar to relax in Nepal is West Central Bal District till 10 pm, Fokakting District till 8 pm. In Bishnupur District, curfew has been relaxed till 5 pm today. And that's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Elite TV English News at 6 p.m. Thank you for watching.